Alright, welcome back. So, today we are going to do a walkthrough of my Halloween contest build, the Necromancer's Lair. To show where it's at, there's Braylon Bridge right there. This is your starting area. There's your Cinder Vault, the first well that you go to, and then there's this little tower here. The only thing I did to the outside is, you can see the Flame Shrine on it. I put a Flame Shrine here, so I did build up the stone in a square around it. Made these little stairs that come down, but otherwise this is completely untouched. I added these skulls in, but that was already there. The short wall, I added three of them. Just like this. But all of this is untouched. You can see a little bit of the light coming through. Just because it's so bright there. And I did smash this to make it obvious that this is where you come over. There is one thing you can see from the outside, and it's right there. So there's just a little bit of a window that's all boarded up that you can see. Otherwise, all this is exactly as the developers left it for us to discover in the game. This is all the same. I didn't change anything out here. I only did the inside, so let's take a look. So when you first come in, it's just this space right here. And then there's a little chest with that hole that looks out. That's all there is to this entire tower when you first get here. So I went this way with it. Put these chains in, got them at some goofy angles so that you have this kind of smoky fire coming up. Added these cool touches right here, the the uh, prison pole or whatever it's called. Do I have one in my bag? It's called prison fence. Had to hand create a door because we still don't have prison doors yet. Then I made a video on how to do that guy right there. Kind of looks like that's our prisoner. He's he's living in pretty pretty funky funky area with the mycelium and the growths on the ceiling. Not not a good time for him. Then you got the quote decimator that I built long ago. I just went ahead and put one in here. I found a way to put heads in a bit in a uh, bathtub to make it look like. You know, those are like leftovers from what we were doing nasty things. Like maybe that's body parts right there because he's a necromancer. So he's he, he's doing bad things to either dead things or to the denizens of Embervale. That chunk was already there. I just put some steel in it. When I blocked this whole thing, that was already damaged like that. Same with the stair and everything. I did this damage as I chunked all this out. I'm standing where there was just solid stone. Then you come down a little bit, you got a little storage space that comes out to that one window. Again, nice little storage space. And then we go down into the crypt. So this is the technically the first layer, first level. So you got one of the machines in the wall that's actually functional. You can still use the machine. Table saw. And you got, you know, little uh, offerings to, to your dead. And then s some of them couldn't afford to have tombs, so they're just in these urns. And then some of them even just have a little gravestone. You come down here, and there, and he's worshiping something. A couple deities here. He's got his spell book out. Maybe he's doing incantations or something. These weird holes that go to I don't know where exactly, except for this one. This one's a secret entrance that you can barely see. If you didn't know it was here, you would have no idea. And there's two of them. This one's a little more noticeable. So I, I, this is was actually here, this rubble pit. I thought, oh man, there must be a chest in there. So I was digging in, but I didn't find a chest. But I did find a way to do this and make that kind of... Like, like maybe that was the old original way in and it collapsed and that's what all the rubble is for. That's kind of the idea there. So then we'll go up past the lab and we'll go into the study or the research area where he's making spells and whatnot. You got waiting area for the denizens as he's ready to do them. We got a, a weird pumpkin 
It's not the best pumpkin, but it's the best I could do for a pumpkin. Some flying books, because, you know, he's a necromancer, so he's got some some wizarding ways. This still works. I never took anything out of it. And this is still here. I didn't... R I think the only thing I did is I brought it up one. I gave one block here up, just to, just to give it a little bit more of a lip. And we come in here. I mean, even a necromancer's got to have a sweet bathroom, right? So he's got himself a pretty cool bathroom. Bathroom's got a secret, too. It's another entrance. I like my secret entrances. So if you come out here, you wouldn't even know. All of this is exactly as the devs did it. The only thing I did was break a hole in right here to, to put this door. That's all I did. I did e everything I could to keep within... Well, actually, I literally kept within the when one block. This goes all the way to one block from outside. So let's take a look upstairs. I used the graveyard fences as railings. thought that looked pretty cool. And I like the way this looks, where it's stone behind, but you have a candle that I put one block, put the candle on it, took the block out, then put the window in the wall. The abomination trophy looks like it's holding up the chandelier. I did not do that on purpose, that's just kind of what happened, and I thought it was awesome. Of course, this is my signature. I created this a long time ago, and I put it in here. But now having this prison fence post, it actually makes a perfect, and let's see if it did it here. Didn't do it here. There's one I did in the hollow halls that I'm working on. It looks like hinges on the inside if you do it just right. It's really cool. So this is his study. We got flying books in here, and you know he's got, got maybe some ancient scrolls in that bag. Just overall spooky times. Now these are the eyeballs of the skull. All of this is just exactly what it is. Right directly above that is the stair that comes down from the top deck. And this is the top deck right there. One block higher and you're outside. So this one had stone over that chunk right there. This did not. It had nothing. I went ahead and chunked out a little bit of the stone. And I put a window in this side. So it actually kind of looks like an eye patch. Almost like he's got... How to explain it? Like like a tumor growth over his eye, the, the, the skull that were inside his head. And then this blinking light that I have no idea how it's doing it or why it's doing it, but I'm happy that it did it because it's awesome. So he's got his little little bed chamber, kind of crypt-like, you know, because he's, he's a nefarious dude. Nothing in here but a skull and a picture of a, a snake. That's, that sounds just like a crypt dude would. And then what I did for the trailer is I just moved him down. And when I popped out through that, he was right there. I recorded all of his sounds. So, for those who do not know about that, the NPCs can talk, but only as they ex you exit the chat. So... So what I had to do is I had to go to a location that wasn't near the shroud and didn't have any special block like well block or anything that makes additional noise. Had to go into the settings and go to sound. I had to turn music off, user interface off. Unfortunately, voices are not the NPCs. Voices are basically your character. And when the flame shrine talks to you in the beginning at the cinder vault, game is him, but also that kind of that nefarious noise you heard and the birds chirping and wolves howling and all that stuff, that's all game also. So I sat here over and over again doing this until I got it to where I got a line that I wanted that didn't have some of that background noise and then you know, of course cut out the audio and put that over it. It ended up being pretty good. I really like the how it turned out. I love this. I really wish we had proper prison doors, but I still really like how it turned out. I do have a four-part stream. It took 10 hours to build this. 
So a four-part stream that's on my YouTube already. You can check it out. It says Halloween Contest four-part stream or something like that. They're long. They're anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours each. And then I have the trailer, obviously, and now, now we've got a walkthrough. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around, and have a good day.